Thank you, Chairman Graham and uh, Chairman Grassley and Ranking Member Franken um, for being here today and choosing uh, Jennifer's nomination to be one that is heard. I think it is um, uh, time that we have a completed uh, a circuit. The challenges are many in our region of the of the country, and we know that um, uh, justice delayed is justice denied. And so, um, we're very excited that you have selected uh, Jennifer for for this hearing. Um, as Senator Hoven has described, Jennifer was born in Devil's Lake, North Dakota. Yes, it's that lake that keeps getting bigger. Yeah, every, I think we Ken Conrad that. makes sure everybody in the United States Senate knew where Devil's Lake was. Um, graduated with her undergraduate degree and law degree from the University of North Dakota and now serves in a, as an assistant U.S. attorney and supervisor in the criminal division in the Attorney General's office, U.S. Attorney's office in uh, Fargo, North Dakota. Um, it, I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the service of Judge Kermit Bai, who sits on the Eighth Circuit, and Jennifer is nominated to replace her. Judge Bai has represented the state of North Dakota in his hometown of Hatton with great distinction and integrity and has been with the utmost respect and sincerity that I thank him for his service on the court, a service that he continues today as he has moved into senior status. As Senator Hoven did, I want to recognize Jennifer's immediate family. They're all adorable and um, I think uh, um, can only uh, be here with a sense of pride that you get when you're nominated to one of the highest judicial offices in the country. And so I applaud um, not only her husband and her family, but also her parents. I have a, I have a longer statement that I'll just um, ask that I be allowed to submit for the record. I want to just make um, a couple points. Um, I think frequently uh, for many people in, in states like mine and states across the country, if you don't have a pedigree Ivy League law degree, somehow you, know, you don't even aspire to get there because the system seems a little rigged against people who go to the University of North Dakota and then dig in almost immediately serving their state in the capacity of a U.S. attorney. Um, the chairman knows very well what the job of a prosecutor is and the judgments that have to be made every day by a prosecutor as they kind of move through the, the, the system. And so um, I think the judgment that you exercise as prosecutor is a great beginning for sitting on uh, a significant circuit court. I think secondly, I think the work that she has done recognizing how difficult that job is for victims, whether it's victims of child trafficking, whether it's victims of the drug trade in my state, whether it in fact is, is victims of, of um, a child abuse and neglect on Indian reservations. I think uh, the, the sympathy that one would have and the understanding of the communities that we serve from a very ground level is an excellent qualification to serve on a circuit court. Real life experience, real world analysis, understanding completely when someone comes in on, a, on an appeal from a, from a conviction exactly what that, that looks like and what, what uh, the conditions were um, in which they were prosecuted. And finally, I want to mention something that hasn't been talked about yet. Jennifer's family comes from small business. They come from working, run a very successful plumbing business. Very, so, so her background is very similar to so many of us who serve in this body, um, coming from really um, just good folks who understand the value of family, who understand the value of hard work, who have taken a risk in their communities and ha have worked with um, their communities in ways that uh, they understand and can reflect the values of those communities. So I couldn't recommend her higher. I think she's uh, more highly. I think that she is eminently qualified to serve. And I think she brings a different perspective, whether it's age, whether it's gender, which a lot of people focus on. But I think it's life experiences and certainly her professional experience. And so I would ask that you give her a favorable recommendation, move that recommendation very quickly, and um, do everything that you can to make the Ace Circuit whole.